Hello everyone, so this is another IELTS writing task 2 live screencast feedback session. So this is another of my students who has written an IELTS writing task 2 answer. So let's start as we did for the previous one. Let's start with the word count. So she is supposed to write at least 250 words. Let's see how much she wrote. So it's 243. It's very close to the suggested word count but I always suggest my students to go a little bit beyond the word limit of course if you don't have time then you have nothing to do but to at least finish the essay with a good conclusion with a good introduction making sure everything else is all right as much as you can but still so let me give the feedback for this one right now before checking the whole thing I think that is better to give the feedback comment whenever I find a suitable feedback comment to give so increase word count alright so that is one feedback comment and it goes to task response because if you don't have enough words to write if you don't have enough words written it's most likely the case that you haven't responded to the task as well as you should have Alright, so the question is the same as before. Some people think that personal happiness is directly related to economic success, which is that happiness comes when you have money. But others argue that happiness depend, depends on different factors. For example, it depends, depends on health, it depends on your reputation, things like that. Discuss both views and give your opinion. Alright, so as with the other task, let's see what the introductory paragraph is about. I think happiness varies from person to person. Everyone's definition of happiness is definitely not the same. What makes me happy might not make someone else happy and vice versa. Alright, so in this introductory paragraph, it's a very short introduction, though there are three separate sentences. Here is a sentence, here is another. So there are three sentences, but these are all simple so somewhat simple sentences short sentences and she has written about her opinion about the matter okay so there were two views one is this that money is happiness another is that happiness can be something beyond money so she has talking talked about her opinion about these two views she is in agreement with this view that happiness depends on different factors that it varies from person to person so this is a good this is a good point of this answer that she has written something she has chosen words in the answer which is not which are not in the prompt which are not in the question for example certain arg others argue that happiness depends on different factors and she wrote i think happiness varies from person to person instead of depends on different factors also, she goes on to explain it a bit and then this is also further explanation for her own stance. However, and this is a critique of this, this is a criticism of this introductory paragraph, which is that this is a discussion type question. It is not an argumentative topic where you have to select one opinion. So the question said to discuss both views. So this is one of the main parts of the question. The other main part is to give your own opinion on the matter. So she hasn't actually talked about these two views. She should have written something about something like, so whereas some people think money can buy happiness, others do not something like that or she could have written one more sentence to add to that so she should have focused on this part of the question as well rather than only sticking to this one so this is also related to task response this criterion so these are the four criteria as you know if you have watched the previous video so let me write it please address all the main um, ideas or the main response requirements all the main requirements in the introduction so let's see if 
other than the introduction if she has actually touched on these both these views rather than only giving her own opinion so let's see what she's written for some people being financially successful in life makes them happy so she is talking about the first view some people think that personal happiness is dis directly related to economic success so this is a good paraphrase of this view so we should always paraphrase we shouldn't just copy paste this part and write it here or write it in the introduction so this is a good part of this essay then moving on their happiness comes from having a good career comma a better house comma and a big bank balance so these are also explanations of this view of this view right so this is a good part of this essay however these things may not necessarily make everyone happy all right so she is already giving a counter argument that no they, these are not enough at least not for everyone there are people in life who have lots of money but still they do not feel happy there is an extra space here but i don't think that it's a major problem it's a it was a slip so she goes on to explain this point with this sentence afterwards she says she writes their source of happiness might be someone or something that is not materialistic so i like this word let me just highlight it in green because she has used a good vocabulary item so materialistic means something that can be bought something economical something concrete okay objective uh, some object instead of something like a, like a quality like love or fulfillment or peace afterwards for instance so this is a direct example recently my friend's mother died and now he has lost his motivation to earn money so this is a very good example he thinks no matter how much money he earns there should be a comma here let me just write a comment here comma he won't be happy and instead of writing um, contracted for uh, contracted words you should actually um, use the whole phrase okay will not he earns he will not be happy like before because his mother is not here to see this okay good explanation from that example hence a person can have all the money in the world and still be unhappy so this is also a main idea that and uh, which is talking about this point the second view others argue that happiness depends on different factors however she hasn't actually talked about this view very much some people think that personal happiness is directly related to economic success the question asked to discuss both of these views instead of just sticking to one but look from her answer it seems like she is giving more priority to this one because this is her own opinion but the question also asked to discuss both of these views so she should have focused a little bit more for example if she would have dedicated this entire paragraph to the first view which is that money can buy happiness then that would have been a better answer so she just focused just up to this part for the first view let me just write it you only dedicated three sentences right three sentences for the first view so that of course will deduct marks from her task response let me just write it here focus on both requirements both focus on the on both requirements of the question so this part and this point and this point these are actually the same but this is specifically for the introduction and this for the overall uh, overall essay so let me just cut this part on both of the question and just write it here like in the introduction and in the body paragraphs all right so let's go to the final paragraph furthermore there are people so before going 
forward furthermore is a linking word so let me highlight it in blue so i'm highlighting the linking words in blue and the uh, and good vocabulary items in green okay so she hasn't actually used many linking verbs in the second paragraph i see however is a linking verb word for instance is also technically a linking word but it's specifically for an example hence is a linking word so she used to i think she should have used more in this in this paragraph for example here since she went into the counter argument in this line she should have written something like on the other hand right or in contrast or on the contrary something like this do you see my point so these linking words are very 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 important for for the second criterion which is coherence and cohesion so let me just cut it and put it in a comment yeah so moving on furthermore there are people whose happiness lies in people around them like friends and family but to take care of these dear ones money is needed i would have preferred a comma here okay so she is talking about again she is again relating to the first view here that even if someone has friends still money is required being economically successful might not be the primary source of happiness for some people but it definitely contributes to keeping our loved ones happy and safe so she is again going back to the first view moreover i believe the source of happiness changes in every st stage of our life what used to make me happy so moreover is a linking word of course let me highlight it in green no in blue what used to make me happy might not make me happy anymore it changes as our priority shifts from one thing or person to another okay so she gave some good explanations for her points that's for sure but there are definite so there are definite um, weaknesses in this essay which i'm going to talk about right now so if you didn't realize yet she kept moving from one view to another constantly so in this pass in this paragraph she up to this point it's about the first view which is some people think that personal happiness is directly related to economic success and the rest of the paragraph is about the second view which is that happiness depends on different factors here she started with further more there are people whose happiness lies in people around them like friends and family but to take care of these dear ones money is needed so she, again she is talking about the first view so the first view here and the second view here and again the first view here up to this point and then again the second view here in this point so this is not um this is not inherently a bad thing to do like i like this sort of writing style where in every paragraph instead of just focusing on one view she is talking about both these views this isn't a bad thing okay but what is somewhat lacking in this essay is that she hasn't actually uh, signaled where she is changing her view or she is talking about another view for example here she should have written something like on the other hand in contrast on the contrary okay so and also in this um in this para so she started with furthermore so that furthermore the word furthermore is usually used when another similar point is being discussed so all similar points should be in the same paragraph actually so since this is a is discussing the second view which is that happiness depends on different factors and this point is also discussing the second view but then moving on to the first in this sentence okay so that <coughs> i don't think that that is good paragraphing here because it's confusing sometimes the word but is used here to actually signal that another different point of view is being taken however i don't really like the word but to begin a sentence a formal sentence i mean a formal writing piece 
she should have used something like however okay or yet all right and there should be a comma afterwards also here moreover i don't think that the word moreover is actually making sense here because she is also shifting points of view in this uh, sentence as well this is up to this sentence and also this sentence is discussing the view that money can buy happiness okay but then this sentence is saying that money cannot always buy happiness so this should not be moreover this should be something like on the other hand in contrast on the contrary all right so let me just write a point like write a comment here let me copy paste this one and write it here all right i believe the source of happiness changes in okay so i haven't actually pointed out some good uh, lexical resources so let me just skim through the writing again um varies i think this was a good paraphrase um So the grammar is very good, honestly. There are very few mistakes in grammar. Actually, no mistake in grammar at all. There are some punctuation problems, but these are very minimal. Some vocabulary can be improved. For example, instead of lots of, she could have written something like are affluent or who have no uh, shortage of money, something like that. But that's okay. That's that's just a, just a suggestion to get more marks. Let me still give a comment here. No shortage of. So contribute is not a difficult word, but still it's a good word choice. Source of happiness. is Was that written in the question? No, it was not. So let me also highlight this one. Priority, that's good. Yeah, not, a, not very many fancy words used here, but they all make sense and they seem natural enough okay so i have i think that in coherence and cohesion i have a lot of comments to make use more paragraphs all right so i would suggest you to give a concluding paragraph you haven't actually summed up your own answer so your word count was something like 241 243 okay so if you give a short conclusion that can be about 25 30 words so it will make it make your make your word count 270 or something so that is very good so if you could just write a two sentence or three sentence conclusion that would have been that would have covered up your task response that would have made up for your coherence and cohesion to some extent okay especially a conclusion all right so the next thing is use uh, use more linking words also use correct linking words some of your linking words were actually wrongly used about lexical resource use some more synonyms i would say well you have i there wasn't anything that i found that you should have not used like your word choice wasn't bad sometimes like for example lots of money it felt a little bit um informal it felt a little bit but it's not a big deal but for a better score i would suggest this use more synonyms and then for grammatical range and accuracy so i have found no grammatical mistake but i'll let me look for complex sentences as well for example because you know in this let me zoom in a little bit in this criterion grammatical range and accuracy they're not only looking for accuracy 
but also range you see so range is very important you have to show that you can write simple sentences compound sentences complex sentences so even a band score of six it also uses a mix of simple and complex sentence forms so let me see if you have actually written complex sentences so okay simple sentence simple simple um, that that's that is actually complex Mm. Compound This is a complex sentence Compound okay so I see there are some variation there is some variation but I would have suggested you I would actually suggest you to bring more variation more variation in like no, I think you have written a lot a lot of simple sentences and some compound sentences I would suggest you to use some a little bit more complex sentences a few more complex sentences all right so now it's time to mark so for task response i am afraid i have to penalize you quite a lot so let's see we can go from nine to down so fully addresses all parts of the task, prevents a presence a fully developed position in answer to the question with relevant, fully extended and well supported ideas. So no, sufficiently addresses all parts of the task, presents a well developed response to the question with relevant, extended and supported ideas. No, addresses all parts of the task, presents a clear position throughout the response, presents, extends and supports main ideas, but there may be a tendency to overgeneralize and or supporting ideas may lack focus. I'm not sure if I can give you seven. Let's go to six. Addresses all parts of the task. Also, although some parts may be more fully covered than others. I think this is right because you have talked more about the second view than the first although you did touch on the second on the first view in the second paragraph in the last paragraph as well but that wasn't actually clear you see you didn't use you didn't make it clear presents a relevant position although the conclusions may become unclear or repetitive presents relevant main ideas but some may be inadequately developed unclear okay so i think you're gonna get six in task response but still let me go to five addresses the task only partially the format may be inappropriate in places expresses a position but the development is not always clear and there may be no conclusions drawn um, so you did draw conclusions but you didn't actually write a separate conclusion paragraph um, okay so you're getting a six here in task response let's go to coherence and cohesion Uses cohesion in such a way that it attracts no attention. Skillfully manages paragraphing. Sequences information and ideas logically. Manages all aspects of cohesion well. Uses paragraphing sufficiently and appropriately. No. Logically organizes information and ideas. There is clear progression throughout. Uses a range of cohesive devices appropriately, although there may be some under or overused. Presents a clear central topic within each paragraph. No, sorry. Arranges information and ideas coherently and there is a clear overall progression. Uses cohesive devices effectively, but cohesion within and or between sentences may be faulty or mechanical. I think that's right. May not always use referencing correctly clearly or appropriately uses paragraph but not always logically right 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 so you're getting a six here presents information with some organization but there may be lack of overall progression makes adequate inadequate inaccurate or overuse of cohesive devices may be repetitive because of lack of referencing and substitution may not write in paragraphs or paragraph may be inadequate i think you wrote a little bit better than five so i'll give you a six here Let's go to lexical resource. I think you're going to score very good here. 
let's see if you get an eight uses a wide range of vocabulary with very natural and sophisticated control of lexical features rare minor errors occur only as slips uses a wide range of vocabulary fluently and ex and flexibly to convey precise meanings skillfully uses uncommon lexical items but there may be occasional inaccuracies in word choice and collocation produces rare errors in spelling and or word formation so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to give you this let's go to seven uses of sufficient range of vocabulary to allow some flexibility and precision uses less common lexical items with some awareness of style and collocation may produce occasional errors in word choice spelling and or word formation okay i think that i can give you eight in lexical resource good job finally grammatical range and accuracy uses a wide range of structures with full flexibility and accuracy rare minor errors occur only as slips uses a wide range of structures the majority of sentences are error free makes only very occasional errors or inappropriacies um, i think your accuracy is good but not that much your range uses a variety of complex structures produces frequent error free sentences has good control of grammar and punctuation but may make a few errors uses a mix of simple and complex sentence forms makes some errors in grammar and punctuation but they rarely reduce communication i think you did a bit better than six i'm going to give you seven here so let me average your mark so six plus six plus eight plus seven is that right yes divided by four okay so you get a seven that's good that's a good person that's a good band score so yeah that was it hope you enjoyed hope you stay with me on my journey to become more fluent in english